Hey everybody, welcome back to Wellness Wednesdays with Karen Body and Benny Beauty by Brie. Today I got a recipe for some vegan broccoli and cheddar soup for y'all, all my soup lovers, but you might not be able to eat what you want anymore due to any changes or transitions you might be doing in your diet. So, first we got the ingredients. I'll put everything that I used in the description box below as well as the measurements. Everything can be found at your typical grocery stores, your Whole Foods, your Walmart, your Aldi, Trader Joe's, anywhere you go. So first, I just started off with a white onion. Gonna get it chopped up real good, um, finely diced. I used about one cup of the white onion again i put all the um, measurements in the description box below but um i'm getting ready to saute this so in the meantime while you're chopping your onion before you start chopping your onion you could go ahead and get you a big pot and you know get it heated up on top of your stove now i cooked everything in the actual pot that i'm going to have my soup in as opposed to having like uh, a saute pan and then pouring it in just because it makes it easier it's less stuff to clean up but you know you could do whatever whichever one you want to do so my pot is already hot I had it warming up while i was chopping my onions and i'm just gonna butter it with my earth balance vegan butter i had sticks so i used about a fourth of a stick of the butter and just you know it evenly throughout the pan to make sure nothing sticks and then i put my one cup of onions in there along with about a tablespoon of minced garlic um i kind of ran out so if you want to use a little more you can but i had about a tablespoon of it so you're gonna let your onions and your garlic cook for about five to seven minutes until they caramelize in the meantime, I cut up my broccoli that I'm going to use for the broccoli and cheddar soup. So, I use fresh broccoli. I don't eat frozen vegetables anymore. Um, there's a big di nutritional difference between fresh and frozen vegetables. So, your know, frozen vegetables, they're picked at their peak ripeness and then frozen. That freezing process like eliminates a lot of the nutrients in the vegetables versus you buying it fresh the fresh fruits and vegetables are picked before they become ripe and they uh, ripen while they're being you know shipped wherever they're going so um yeah fresh broccoli um came back check on my onions and garlic then i'm gonna add in my flour again all the measurements will be in the description box below and you just gonna you know stir that up till it get a little thick look thick then i'm adding in three cups of vegetable broth i ran out of my first one so you see me here switching to my new bottle and you're just gonna stir that up until it becomes like a roux um it's gonna thicken it's, it's not it shouldn't be the same like looseness as just plain vegetable broth or water like it's gonna thicken you should be aiming for it to get a little thick as it cooks so you want to make sure you uh come in checking on it stirring occasionally as you can see like you can see the flour kind of like bunching together so you know just stir it out often to make sure it's not clumping up so you're gonna add in your rice milk after that you're gonna use four cups and same thing with that just um make sure you stirring it occasionally i'm gonna go in with my whisk and make sure everything whipped up real nice and even real nice and you know thoroughly but um you're just gonna let this cook for a while <laughs> a while and as time goes on you know you keep coming back checking on it stirring it's going to get thicker so 
uh, you know, broccoli and cheddar soup is not like no real thin, like chicken noodle soup type consistency. Like, it's kind of thick. So, you know, you're going to let everything simmer in there so it could thicken up and just keep checking on it, stirring it so that nothing, you know, stick in, burn into the bottom of the pie or anything like that. And then you're going to bring your uh, stuff to a boil. So once it starts boiling, you want to add in your fresh broccoli. Again, your choice to use fresh or frozen, but I will say that frozen breaks up a lot more than fresh broccoli. So if you don't like a whole bunch of broccoli pieces in your stuff, I would say get some fresh broccoli. But if you're okay with that, you know, do as you please. But once you add in your broccoli, you want to let that cook for about 10 minutes because this is fresh broccoli. So this 10 minute period is really going to be you cooking, actually cooking your broccoli so that it's not raw. As you can see here, my broccoli is cooked. A little softer than it was when I first put it in. And now we're going to add our Daya Vegan Shreds. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. So I used, honestly, I kind of gave up on the measurements at some point. Because when I first put the two cups in, it wasn't, it wasn't cheesy enough for me. But instead of me measuring out more cups, I kind of just poured almost another full bag in, which I did not intend to do. And it ended up being a little bit thicker than I would have liked, but it still tasted amazing. So it's okay. You know, it, it just, the amount of cheese you add depends on how cheesy and how thick you want your soup to be. So I would say for me, ideally is about three cups, which is really like a bag and maybe a third. But I actually ended up using two, two full bags of cheese. So that just, once again, depends on how thick and how cheesy you want your um, soup to be. So you put your cheese in and then you're just going to let that cook. Same thing. Continually stir it so that it's not sticking. And just make sure that um, it's cooking until all the cheese strings are melted. And it's like one even consistency. Yeah, just keep stirring. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm really like scraping the bottom of my pan. Like, you really got to make sure you're stirring it to make sure it's not sticking at the bottom. The flour, the cheese, none of that. Like, just really make sure you stirring it and get to the bottom of the pan so that nothing's sticking and burning. You don't want no crispy, you know, you don't want no burnt soup, no burnt cheddar, no burnt broccoli at the bottom of your soup. That's just going to throw off everything. Like, just make sure you scrape in the bottom. Everything needs some love. So here I just recorded in real time to show y'all like the thickness of the soup, the consistency that came from the roux we made earlier in addition to the cheese. All right, nice and creamy, y'all see? <laughs> yeah, and then I added me some dinner rolls and boom. Nice vegan soup, perfect for the cold season. <laughs> 